Hey everyone, welcome to day six of our Carnival Panorama Mexican Cruise. Today we are in Cabo San Lucas. You can see it behind us there. We're super excited to share today with you. They're already tendering people. We've already gone to the buffet for breakfast. We are gonna head to port right now. So let's dive into it. A quiet morning here on the Carnival Panorama. The sun's just coming up. It's a beautiful morning. We've got all the tenders lined up to get people off the ship, to take them to their excursions or just to port for the day. So we've got downtown Cabo, way off in the distance there. We've got Pelican Beach over here. We've got Lover's Beach. There's Lands End. And then on the other side is Divorce Beach. I'm thankful the waves are nice and calm and it's easy to get on this tender. And you can see there's actually a couple of tendering locations here on the panorama. Now, when we were in Cabo San Lucas before, we had really rough seas and we didn't know if we would even be able to go into port because the tenders do not run if they have really rough seas. So I'm happy it's nice today. Yes. And the other thing we were tipped off by one of the staff members on the ship that around 8.30 in the morning, it gets really busy. So it's nice that we're off the ship a little bit earlier. A lot of boats going out for their excursions, fishing trips. You've got pirate ships here and all sorts of different things you can do for the day. When you get off the tender, you arrive at the pier. Here there are lots of opportunities to get your photo taken, as well as there are some of the meetup locations if you're taking a tour. Now we're looking to do a private tour. We're looking to get on a glass bottom boat and go out to the arch as well as Land's End and then get dropped off at Lover's Beach. There's plenty of people selling private tours when you come off the dock here and we talked to them we paid $15 each for three of us and some people we heard paid a little bit more some people paid a little bit less now one thing to note that you do need to also pay another dollar to get onto the dock before you get on your excursion we're gonna follow this gentleman over to our boat which is called Yoshi off to Lover's Beach. Lover's Beach and a quick tour. For three. Thank you. A sea lion hanging out by the yachts, not a bad place to sunbathe. We're sailing! <laughs> Our tour guide and captain is gonna start out by giving us a tour before he drops us off at Lover's Beach. We're gonna see places such as Pelican Beach, Lover's Beach, the Cabo Arch, Land's End, and the infamous Divorce Beach. Pulling up on Pelican Beach here, you can even say hi to the pelicans sitting out on the rock. You've got Pelican Rock out there. And this is a popular beach for snorkeling. A lot of people get dropped off here to do that and it tends to be a fair bit calmer here than Lover's Beach. We can see fish in the bottom of our boat in the glass bottom. Let's take a closer look under the water. Lots of fish here. The 
This is our first peek at Lover's Beach. When we are done the tour, we'll come back here for a swim. And across the sand and in the crack there, if you go through there, that's where you get to the infamous Divorce Beach. There's so many different rock formations to look at here coming out of the sea. Pretty neat. The famous Scooby-Doo rock. Can you see them? The Cabo Arch. And all the sea lions hanging out here. and lands in the most southern tip of the Baja California Peninsula. I want to go in the pirate's cave. I think there's treasure in there. That'd be cool to go in there. And Divorce Beach. You do not want to swim at Divorce Beach. It is known for its strong currents and rip tides. So do not swim there. Definitely don't swim there. Our captain is taking us back to Lover's Beach. He's going to drop us off and come pick us up a little bit later. That was an adventure getting off. Yeah. <laughs> I'm wet just above my knees. So it was quite wavy getting off. We kind of had to jump in and, and uh, walk ashore, but Wow, it's sandy and beautiful. And guess what? There's only four other people here this morning. So. So we were on the boat Yoshi. I believe our captain was Pancho? Pancho? Something like that. Yeah, well, he's gonna come back and get us at 9.30, it's the time we agreed upon. So he gives directions on where we can swim and where to stay away. So we're excited, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's gorgeous here. Beautiful Lover's Beach, woo! And Divorce Beach is right through that crack there. We're gonna swim here at Lover's Beach. Don't go swim over there, it's dangerous. So here at Lover's Beach, you should know there's no facilities. There's no washrooms, change rooms, no lifeguards. You're really on your own out here. So maybe think ahead, come in your swimsuit, but it's, it's amazing here. The waves are crazy huge. They are. Wow, this is, so this is Divorce Beach here. You don't want to go swimming here. The waves are massive. We'll go swim over at Lover's Beach where it's a little bit calmer. Divorce Beach is the Pacific Ocean, whereas Lover's Beach is the Sea of Cortez, and this is where the two oceans meet. Sea of Cortez. Pacific Ocean. The rock formations are magnificent here and there's lots of little nooks and crannies for you to explore and look through. Really neat. But I think it's time for us to go swimming over at the Lover's Beach side. sunglasses in the ocean. I thought we would just go wade in the water and a giant wave came and I went under and it washed my sunglasses away. My Oakley prescription sunglasses so feeling kind of choked but it's okay. It's, it's okay. 
let it go. The three foot waves turned into a 10 foot wave. It's all good. We're all safe. Another gorgeous day at Lover's Beach and we're just waiting for Yoshi, our boat, to come pick us up. We had an awesome time swimming here and enjoying the sun. Lover's Beach. Some locals did show up and they're helping people get on and off of the boats. Now they do work for tips and they are needed. So I definitely recommend bringing a few extra dollars to help support them. The waves can get quite large here at Lover's Beach. So be very careful getting on and off the boats. You don't want to scratch up your legs. We've heard of this happening to a few people. When you make plans with the captain of your ship of when you want to leave Lover's Beach, make sure you leave lots of time because they run on Mexican time here. So everything's a little relaxed and you're never quite sure when they're going to get back to you. So don't cut it close at all. Yeah. And Yoshi is here to pick us up. So we'll jump back on our boat. Thank you. Thank you. Whoa. No. Hi. It was great. Thank you. And one quick stop at Pelican Beach to pick up a couple of snorkelers. You can see the waves are much smaller here, which makes it significantly easier to get in and out of the boat. They definitely are. And a quick boat ride through the marina and to the dock to end our excursion. That was an awesome time on our little boat trip to Lover's Beach and the tour. Highly recommended if you are coming here to Cabo San Lucas. Let's go for a little walk into town here and see what else we can find in Cabo. Back by the dock where we got off the ship, there's again, lots of private excursions here. Everything from fishing tours, snorkeling, whale watching, and of course, glass bottom boats. You'll also find a pharmacy if you need any medications. There's lots of restaurants, including senior frogs, and of course, souvenir shops with all your Cabo gear. Yes, they've got some great prices here. Of course, all your Cabo shirts. If you need drinks or beverages, they've got liquor here, hot sauces and salsas, of course. You can get shot glasses, Mexican cups and mugs, and of course, hoodies and t-shirts. And they're all a pretty good price here. Walking along the boardwalk, you will go past the marina. It's quite a beautiful spot. You will also find lots of fishing excursions in this area. As well as there's plenty of places to take photos, including this really cool surfboard art collection. There's also a lot of signage down here so that you can find your way around town quite easily. And maybe grab a photo of that so you have the map with you the whole time. Now, if you're looking for Cabo adventures, maybe you have a dolphin excursion book, or you would like to learn to scuba dive, you can do that right here inside the shipping container. How cool is that? If you're needing some assistance or you have some questions, you can stop in at the Tourist Assistance Center located right along the boardwalk. Now, if you didn't get a chance to go fishing, but you still wanna get a photo with a marlin, you can do that down here as well. And of course, the Cabo sign is along the way, so you can easily snag a photo with that. Hey, Mr. Pelican. Ooh, look at all the fish. On the hunt for some air conditioning. I think there's a mall up here. I'm gonna change and find some beverages. The Porto Paraiso shopping mall is about a mile from the cruise dock. The air conditioning feels really nice. Marvelous. Yes. Pretty high-end mall. Yeah, it is. And you'll find stores such as Chanel, Swarovski, and more. And if you want to catch a movie, there's also a movie theater in here. That might be nice if you got a sunburn. 
Now we're on the road beside the mall heading out towards Lazaro Cardenas Boulevard and back here you're going to find plenty of other restaurants. There's a Hard Rock Cafe here as well as another Senior Frogs but we're on the hunt for Starbucks which is about a block down and of course they've got the Los Cabos Starbucks mugs here. Now if you're trying to find this from the waterfront look for Plaza Bonitas and you can walk through their courtyard to the Starbucks at the back. We've had an awesome time here in Cabo. I think it's time to head back to the ship. Our all aboard is 1.30 and it's almost 12.30 now. So we're gonna go grab some lunch on the ship. Shade. Shade is my friend. Make sure you have your room key ready. You will need to show it before you get on the dock as you head towards the tenders. They've got small tenders going here. They've got big tenders going. They're trying to get everyone back to the ship. They've even got double decker tenders and we are off back to the ship. We got the premium seats up top, an upgrade. Ooh, what do we have today? The cutie. Rhinoceros or dog, something like that. Cutie. So we just came from the buffet and we had lunch. I actually had a burrito at the Blue Iguana. I finally had one of the turkey wraps that Thomas keeps telling me I need to try. It was good. Yeah, so, um, and then we had ice cream. Of course, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're waiting for a sail away here in Cabo San Lucas so we should be sailing away any moment um, we were all aboard was 1 30 so um, it's pulling up on 2 o'clock or 1 50 now so um, we should be sailing away soon this is a beautiful port you can see behind us there you've got Lover's Beach and Land's End over there it's just a gorgeous place to visit we always love visiting Cabo San Lucas here now we should tell you where we're standing though we're actually right above the bridge and a lot of people don't find this area it's the front of the ship of course mm -hmm. and we're currently on deck nine we accessed it through deck 10. so but we're on deck nine and deck 10 you can get on from up there or deck nine at the front by the cabins and we're right on top of the bridge you can see staff the area. staff area down there and we're actually right on top of the part that sticks out on the side of the ship. So really cool place to hang out. It's pretty quiet up here, the odd person taking photos, but a really fun place. It's to... not advertised. Like there's no like, oh, go stand mm -hmm. out front. So, you know, you just kind of have to sneak around and you can find it. <laughs> yeah, no, that's for sure. 2.15 and we are off. Goodbye, Cabo. Hey, you found some other sunglasses. Yes, thankfully I brought two, but this pair I'm gonna be a little more careful with. Because <laughs> your sunglasses are right there. So a pretty mellow afternoon here on the panorama. After the sail away, we came back to our room and snoozed a little bit, hung out on the deck. You snoozed, I didn't sleep. You, you tanned, I snoozed? No, I was kaputzing. You were kaputzing. <laughs> so we had a good time there. And then um, I went down to trivia with my son. We did video game trivia, which we totally bombed. 11 out of 20. There were some ringers there. I'm sure some of them got 20 out of 20. So, um, but it was still a ton of fun. And tonight, Elegant night. Elegant night, yes. So we're dressed up, you're in your beautiful white dress. And do you know what you're eating already? Did you no, look at the menu? No, the only reason I didn't look is my phone needed to charge after taking so many photos today in Cabo. So I, I actually don't know tonight. You usually already know before we even go what you're having. <laughs> but, I like to know. <laughs> yeah. So we're doing that shortly. And then what's happening? Well, there's well? a lot going on, like just like okay. every night, but the main shows that stand out to us 
are Soul Bound, which is in the Liquid Lounge, so the main theater. And then the activity tonight around the Lido deck is the Silent Night. So that's where you put the headphones on and it says you pick your beats and listen to the music and dance. Yeah, so we'll go check that out. I don't know if we'll try it, but we'll try and get some footage of it as well as there's all sorts of comedy and different things going on on the ship tonight. So a lot of stuff going on after a great day in Cabo. So we'll check back in with you shortly. Now like at night was great. It was much busier tonight in the Vista restaurant. Yeah, way busier than yesterday, that's for sure. A lot of people taking advantage of the final elegant night. Mm -hmm. It was really nice though. Let's talk about the food we had. Yeah, it was awesome. Um, I had a Caesar salad as well as the mushrooms. The stuffed mushrooms. Yeah, and you, I, you had that too. Yeah. Or not the Caesar salad, but the mushrooms. Yeah, I enjoyed that, it was really good. Mm -hmm. And then our son for the appy had the... Clam chowder. Clam chowder and the crab cake. Yeah, so, and he really liked it. Yeah, so those were, looked really good as well. I didn't try them. You tried the, a bite of the... Yeah, of the crab, crab cake. cake, it was good. Yeah. And then it was filet mignon night. So we all had we filet all had mignon. filet mignon, which was really good. It, it was came really with good. Green beans and mashed potatoes, and really that was excellent. It was good for sure. And then dessert, we had the carnival melting cake. chocolate cake with Mickey style, so two scoops of ice cream. And if you don't know this, you can ask for peanut butter as well. And it'll come with a side of peanut butter, which is really good to mix in there as well. So, um, Plus coffee. Plus coffee. Yes, it was excellent for our last elegant night on this cruise. So um, that was really fun. Then we went over to the... Liquid Lounge. Liquid Lounge. I'm st <laughs> real, still struggling to say that one. The main theater, the Liquid Lounge. And what was the show called? Soulbound. Soulbound. So it was an R&B kind of performance, really good singing in there. It was kind of, how, how would you describe it? Well, the characters were all like ghost or uh, which voodoo is. doll, which is, it almost, I don't want to say it was Halloween theme, wasn't Halloween theme, but it was almost that more kind of like that sort of haunted feeling. ghost kind of. But lots of like the whole back screen was um, changing all the time with different it was looks very creative. to it, colors stuff shooting around, lasers, all sorts of stuff. It was really good. Highly yeah. recommend it yeah. if you're on the ship, come check that it's out. Um, it was a little bit shorter. I wanna say, I don't think it was a full 45 minutes long. No, it wasn't. I, I think at the most it was like 35 minutes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so um, check that out. It was playing twice tonight. So I believe 7.30 and 9.30. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure it was 7.30 and 9.30. Yeah. So that was awesome. And then um, I went hot tubbing. Yep. And which was really nice in the hot tub. Pretty quiet out there in the hot tub. I think a lot of people were in the shows. It was an early morning though, because mm -hmm. the first people off was around 6.30 this morning. Yeah, so people were up really early. We we got up. Um, quarter to six this yeah, morning. Yeah, it was still dark when we got up. So it was uh, definitely early. It's been a long day for a lot of people, but right mm -hmm. now what's happening is the silent night, which is yeah. that um, silent dance party where they're wearing the headphones. So we went out, we went and took a peek at that. A mm -hmm. lot of uh, families and actually still a lot of people coming yeah. um, up and you have to, ha looks like you have to have your um, your card to scan out or to- Sign out, out headphones. Yeah. So a lot of people dancing out on the deck, having an awesome time out there. Yeah. Looks like a lot of fun. So um, yeah, they've got kind of colors on them. I don't know if that's, what music they're listening to, but people are dancing and singing to songs out there. So awesome. And that's out on deck 10 at the Lido kind of main pool area. So beach pool, beach pool. Yes. So what an awesome day. I love Cabo. I know. I think I mentioned that a couple of times already. Cabo is an amazing port. Beautiful. Yeah. So much fun taking the glass bottom boat over to um, Lover's, Beach. Lover's Beach and Divorce Beach and doing the tour. We love doing that. It's one of our favorite things. But just be careful if you are swimming. You might lose your sunglasses or swallow some sand. So just be careful if you're out there. There's some pretty big waves out there. If you're worried about the waves, I'd highly recommend the other beach they were saying, was that Pelican Beach? Yes. Yes, which is a little bit calmer. So that might be something to consider as well. So just ask your kind of glass bottom boat driver what the best one is or the calmest one and I'm sure they can point you in the right direction but walking around Cabo there's so many different shops and even if you want to just go grab some beverages or go eat some lunch you can do that all 
there in Lots Cabo. Lots of options. Yeah, no, for sure. And the weather was amazing as it well was, today. Yeah. So a beautiful sail away. But tomorrow is a sea day, is which a is sea day. good because I think we all need like the relaxing and one last day to really enjoy the ship. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna do some more on the ship. We're gonna try and fit that all in for you for tomorrow. It's gonna be an awesome day. There's still lots going on on the ship for tomorrow. So um, we do wanna share that with you. So if you haven't already, make sure to hit that thumbs up button and also subscribe here to Northern Viking Explorer so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. We do wanna share those with you. And I guess that's all for tonight. Thanks for watching Cabo and we will see you tomorrow for the Sea Day.